I'm Pastor Aaron Fanker, and this is Worship in a Nutshell. You are God's baptized child. At the Holy Font, you were washed in the triune name of God. His water washed over your forehead. Then you were given the Holy Spirit, a down payment for your eternal life. You were given faith in Jesus Christ. You were placed into his death and resurrection. His death and resurrection is now your death and resurrection. Your righteousness was taken away, and you were clothed with Christ's own righteousness, pure and spotless, because you've had God's triune name placed upon you in the waters of holy baptism. As we gather for worship, we hear this clearly, that we are gathered as God's baptized children. We hear it in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. He gathers us, the triune God gathers us. It's his gathering, not ours. His work, not ours. He makes of it what he would make of it, not what we would make of it. The service is there for him to give us his gifts, to give us the forgiveness of sins, eternal life, and salvation. But the service doesn't just begin baptismally. There's a baptismal bookend in the service. It starts with the invocation and ends with the benediction. All of it placing the name's Lord, the Lord's name upon us. Uh, baptism places that name upon us. We are reminded of this in the invocation. The blessing at the end of the service once again places the Lord's name upon us. That's how it was for the people of Israel. The blessing that the Lord spoke to them in Numbers chapter 6. And there we read, The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, This is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So they shall put my name on the children of Israel, and I will bless them. You are God's baptized child. You are reminded of that as he gathers you, and you hear his name, the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. You receive his gifts. You are once again his beloved child, and you go out blessed by him, his name being once again placed upon you in the words of the benediction. This has been Worship in a Nutshell.